Capcom, and the rest of the world team, I sued you. It was a great remake. I mean, hey, I mean, Toad Morgan, I know you're listening to the remake game that came out this year. Yep, that's a good one. I'd probably be, well, I'd be here two days ago, but Teddy's been doing my third playthrough. So, and let's just start. What the be the part I give it to? I tell you. I look in cops first day on the job. A student sitting for a missing brother. Sitting on the verge of collapse. Completely united in a world winning horror classic. Play in the big community region as, you know, as Kenny and Clay Lipfield. Yep. So basically, you know, you know, Kenny and Clay Lipfield trying to figure out what's going on in the city. And that's what we put in the show. Oh, and the point in this remake, I just want to know if he felt like he was for series. I love it, you four. I love it, you seven. And um, I do love the literally the little one with the classic, but I got me the tank controls. I, uh, not that great. Look, I know tank controls are cool and all, but my my favorite one is Evil Radio Four. That's how I got in the series. And why had a remake come with Evil Radio Two? I started to help. I'm going to put it for years. And I the playing this remake. Look at my conclusion. This remake is excellent, awesome. Like holy shit. Oh yeah, what type of graphics? Graphically, this game is gorgeous to hell. With the new i7 engine, the graphics are beautiful. Even a beautiful game I have played next to Kingdom Hearts 3. In fact, in my personal opinion, I think both Kingdom Hearts 3 and Radio 2 graphics are gorgeous and awesome and badass. That is amazing. 10 out of 10 graphics, but let's get the gameplay itself. Okay. Gameplay-wise, um, gameplay is good, good already. It has the RE4 at the um, right, camera system, and the RE4 which can actually work for this game. I know some people can play this yeah, first camera angle. It's not for me, is it? News flash, those first camera angles were good back in the day, but they don't work anymore. And me personally, I think I think the camera center works great in this game compared to, to its processors. In fact, I think this game fixes a lot of points I have with the original is that, well, it's hard to aim with tank controls. I know tank control was a thing back in the day, but for me, I just couldn't get into it that much. It's not bad tank control, but I'm fine with the over the shoulder view. I think over the shoulder view actually works, works a lot more better. And, but the gunplay works as good, though, right? The, the survival hole works, though, right? And but this game is, is creepy. Yeah, this game actually does those zombie stuff, but actually works because it's a good remake. And as a remake, it works. Speaking of what's we'll take the story so we'll get to the Leonard's Kenny and Quirk Derby campaigns. Okay. I have only two campaigns. My favorite campaign is Leon's campaign. Why? Because I love Leon. He's my favorite Kenny and the evil series. And the how the how can go back to the very beginning, um how he turned out the into the badass and at the Oki Cop in the first day of the job, that's actually interesting. Heck, this game actually explored a lot more stuff with Leon's character in this game. Only the original and actually does some stuff with some side character that I expect. For example, if you play with the like Resident Evil 2, you get to meet Marvin. Who's Marvin? Marvin was a cop that put at the um like give me on his first um job. And Marvin's character in this game, unlike the original, is all expand upon. Back in my personal opinion, I think I think this game expand more Marvin character than in the original game, actually fixed it all upon with the original game story. The other game story is good though, it, it's a classic. But I got me, it has a problem, and the way they actually put the story is pretty good. Granted, they do expand upon it all, so I'm going to play the Crash campaign. Speaking of Crash campaign, oh boy, this stuck around with, with the, the Amazon Chief. She found it, it, it get dark, and it is creepy. In fact, my brother will want me to play about any Crash campaign, it's pretty silly, it's pretty cool. Like, like I said, yeah, this game I expand more on the story and get more nuance to Ada and Rian. It's so pretty cool. And in my opinion, I think it's one of the best remakes that came out this year since, well, since the original Red right, Evil remake. Um, my time I to miss, boy. Speaking of what, what's the what's 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 survival horror aspect? Is this game scary? Yes! Because, in my opinion, this game, unlike other Red Evil games, like, and big one like shoot back or never. This time around you guys to save ammo, so save inventory and not try to kill everything in your path. Why? You try to kill everything in your path is a suicide mission and inspecting the owner if you get some zombies, you're dead. And you're bitigate dead. Like dead or that. 
Speaking of which, Angelotti, let's get to, um, to our on-hand favorite antagonist, Mr. X, aka the Tyrant, played by Umbrella. Yeah, Mr. X is no pushover. He's insane. Like, he can't really die. You shoot, even though you shoot him at the end of him, he keeps coming back. Like, but this guy is basically like, like a bullet machine and nothing can stop him. Like, he's basically like Nemesis prototype. But I like Nemesis a lot more with a trench coat and a hat. And he's so intimidating. It, like, it's, it's hard to, to get away from him. Even to get away from him, he's so fun to track you down. And it's equipment and insane intense. Yeah, that's how I like this game. I don't really make. This game is people that after a good remake and actually works and actually feel actually more terrifying. It's survival horror done right. And my opinion really is one of the best survival horror games I've played in years. Let's do a deal four. That's my favorite. I think this game, I'll give you seven. It proved that Resident Evil is back at the way it should have been in the beginning. Back to the survival horror aspect. It's probably love because you have limited inventory, limited ammo, and you can't shoot everything in sight. You can try, but good luck because you're a dead man to try to do that. And my pleasure being, I probably love this game so much. It has great Reaper value too. Speaking of Reaper value, um, what's it to actually the whole new game? Second one and new game with them. Oh wait. Um second one in my opinion is good as always. The second one does switch up the environment pretty cool. With awesome project at the Mr. Actually and oh boy, when you see Mr. X, it's insane intense. As for um G, William Bergen. Well, I don't get too much spoilers. I just say if you play it you see not have a but just say it's a great time to go back to Rockin City and damn it's like better than singing. Awesome, I just can't make the do it the story. Um oh my job, I'm gonna spoil you. Soundtrack is good away. The soundtrack actually is great, it's very intense, very creepy. The sound is awesome. In fact, I think the soundtrack might be like like there was no I just don't hold up. Granted you can buy the the original soundtrack, depending on the DRC thing with the Norby. But you know what? Screw it. I think it's probably worth the price. But you know what? you don't have to buy that, that DRC soundtrack. I didn't, and I still got full game with it. Um, I'm talking to my spoiler. Hmm. Boss battles are good all way, they're intense as well. Boss battles are, are insane and cool. And in my opinion, I think the boss battles were very intense in this game, like the original. And I'll be able to kill it. Awesome. Um, I'm talking about. Hmm. Didn't try to get too much spoiler. Alright, then. So I'm gonna let, oh I don't, with all that said, what do I get on Resident Evil 2? I did this game on with a 5 out of 5, perfected, A+. Plus. If the fan of Resident Evil is me, buy this game. If the fan of, of the skaters, buy this game. And if the fan of good survival horror after the experiences, buy this game. So but anyway, even when the best of Resident Evil in we got in here, I cannot wait to see after bring Resident Evil 3. And the way this game ends, does work for the future. Granted, it's still we've seen before, but you know who cares? It's a great time to go back to Rocket City and highly commend it. Also, there's an extra mode that also the full survival mode, which is very hard, very intense, and very, very, very challenging. So, if you want to do that, go for it. Me personally, I will try to beat that mode eventually. So, save you for that. But you know what? Screw it. This is a great remake, and I highly commend it. Then you can't come in a good remake, I can't wait to see how I'm next. I mean, that might be all I do with two. Spoil free and possible on um, pre-dog kind of mode to use them about an amazing game. Do you like it to it? Also, how do you feel about Resident Evil 2 and who's your favorite Resident Evil character? For me personally, it's Rihanna's Candy and, and um, Claire Lebeard and um, Ada and Sherry. Please don't comment down below. Also, I have a favorite follow on Twitter, please go on my channel, follow on Twitch, follow on Starter, please click the bell icon, you do the album bullshit on stories. Please like it, like it if you can, and I'll talk to you later. Long live Resident Evil 2, long live Resident Evil 8. See ya, bye, Resident Evil. See ya. One more thing, Capcom. Th thank you for making a great remake, and I can't wait, wait for the next remake, Resident Evil 3, and I can't wait for Resident Evil 8. See ya. Bye, Resident Evil. See ya.